Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill Ten Rats. Welcome back to Antharion, the game that poses the age-old question that has befuddled adventurers ever since we set foot on this continent. Where the hell are we gonna find more arrows? Hmm. Uh, we are running a little low again, but I'm not sure what to do about it. To be perfectly honest, I think the best bet would be to, considering how we have basically wrapped up the orc camps last time to leave this place and just see if we can find another um, another city somewhere I think that would be our best bet like some sort of settlement that would give us a better shot at merchants with replenished inventory and some arrows that we can, you know, take on. Actually, do, we, do you have anything new to say? Uh, begun citizen. Okay, that's kind of you. Begun citizen. Begun citizen. Begun citizen. Mushroom. Mushroom. Snake. Snake. Oh, it's a snake. Where are we gonna go? I was looking to go to the merchant that's hanging out here somewhere. Because I kind of forgot what he was selling, or rather she was selling, because that looked like a she. Hmm. Loxy Pixies. Lead plate armor. That was what I was after. 1100. But oh so good. Ah, and ropes of intellect. But oh so good. Yes. Okay, let's sell some junk. Uh, let's see what can we sell actually. Hmm. Uh, sure. All these crabs we killed. Don't think there's any more value to keeping the seagull skin. Hopefully, there's not going to be a quest of. Uh, having to collect boar hides, but if there is... Oh well, we'll have to buy it back, I guess. Oh right, we have the emerald as well. And skulls aplenty. More crabby crab meat. What is this? Teleport. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, probably not gonna have enough money to afford the... Uh, what's it called? The robes, but oh well. Hmm. Or maybe we will? It's gonna be close, and I don't want to go for bro completely, so probably not. We'll just have to remember that it's there. Level 8. One more to go. Hmm. Alright. Anything else that could be interesting here? Uh, don't really think so. This is really nice as well. That's a lot better than... Oh, it's level 10. Okay, so let's keep in mind that this exists too. Okay, let's um, see how you look like in this... Ooh, baby, that is not bad. Um, do we actually want to... Does this impede your spellcasting in any way if I put you into this? Um, doesn't seem to be the case, does it? Let's see. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we lost any spell point maximum, so this is probably all right. But, of course, in the long run, we would like to have some more sorcerish looking ropes for her. Hmm. Where does this go? Uh, south to Southern Pass. Well... Still those stupid sandals. Oh, what's this? Sleepy Meadow Cemetery. Hello there. Hello, you wouldn't be headed into the crypt by any chance. My kitten Fufu died just last week and we had her body preserved and stored in a box in the crypt. 
Just the other day, however, I was told by a friend that there is a white magic spell that, if used correctly, could reanimate Fufu. Unfortunately, I'm far too terrified of the dark and who knows what kind of creatures lurk down there to venture into the crypt myself. Now, I'm not a wealthy woman, but I do have in my possession a considerable amount of gold. And if you'd be so brave as to retrieve Fufu's corpse for me, I'd give you all of it. Sure, we'll do it, but can you pay us in arrows? Thank you, thank you so much. Alas, me and Fufu shall be together once again. As I recall, we put Fufu's corpse in a crate we borrowed from behind the Silver Spoon Inn. You seem to have an unhealthy fixation with your dead cat. And uh, I'm just glad it's not called Guppy. Oh no, not at all. You see, me and Fufu had no ordinary cat owner relationship. No, no. We're bonded together on a spiritual level. When she took her last breath and her spirit ascended, my spirit yearned to follow, but the goddess of light whispered into my ears that it was no time and that I could not go. And if reanimating a corpse shouldn't work, I will be forced to take, shall we say, more drastic measures. Like what? Bury her in a pet cemetery? I will have no other choice but to take my own life. You see, when you are connected with another living creatures in the way that me and Fufu are, every inch of your being yearns for their presence, and if my efforts to bring Fufu back to this realm fail, well, I shall just have to follow her into the next plane of existence. That drastically took a turn for the worse, unexpectedly. What the hell is wrong with you? Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm still sort of in exploration mode, but what I'm really trying and hoping to find is a town or another merchant. Because we're literally down to like 24 and 18 arrows, which is just not anywhere near enough. Actually, gonna go into melee combat with her for the duration of this fight and see how that goes. Ooh, should you be taking that much damage with your armor there? Mm, nice. Also nice. Let's try to stay out of the way here. Okay. And maybe, uh, eh, do this. They are still hitting. I don't approve. Still way too much damage for melee. But oh well. Let's see how we fare in the long run. Mm, okay, victory. Let's... Uh, ooh! Ooh, we found a magic item. Very nice. Let's take a nap on the shock. Okay, that works. Hmm. I guess this is the southern pass. <clears throat> Sorry about the croaky voice there. Seems to be something annoying going on in my throat at the moment. Hello there. Uh, vampire bats. Any castery bats? There is a bat necromancer. How annoying. I guess I'll have to switch back temporarily. So we can attack the necromancer. Uh... Where is it? There it is. Okay. Nice damage. Run away. Okay, at least it failed. Ah, uh, not too bad. Okay. Let's get the necromancer down, please. Thank you. Okay, wow. <laughs> nice shot. Ah. Uh, not unexpected. Okay. I guess we can switch back to melee combat now. Even though our damage sucks. But I really don't want to waste any more arrows. Oh god. Such unnecessary damage. Hmm. Let's take a bit of a gamble and hope Valencia can take the bat out so we can actually kill this. Oh, come on. I guess we'll end up with both of them bang, being left alive. Okay, at least one is down. Ouch. Oh, really? Thank you. Okay, let's... Uh, let's 
heal him. Any drops? None at all? Hmm. Disappointed. Uh, okay. Is this the southern path? Where are we going here? I guess we're sort of going through the mountains. But I sure would love to find a city, a village, a town, or whatever you are. Whatever are you? You're a house. Without someone in it. That's not very helpful, is it? We shall steal your fruit. See what benefits you. Oh, hello. It's been a long day on the farm and I'm far too tired to talk right now. Okay. Sorry about stealing your fruit. Didn't realize you were actually standing right next to the house. Lomer's pumpkin farm. Okay. We didn't even steal a pumpkin, so I guess we're good on that front. North to Hertshire. That sounds like it could be a town. Let us hope so. Let us also hope that it doesn't have much in common with Goldshire. Especially on the Moonguard server. If you don't know what I'm talking about, be very, very glad. There is Hertshire. Hello there. Begone, citizen. Why did I, why did I knew they would say that? Arms and armor. Oh, I think we are saved. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Um, is there an inn? Are you an inn? You are a tavern. That's good enough for me. Skeld. Good day to you, fellow travelers. Can I interest you in a recitation of the oral history of Antarion? Uh, not right now, thanks, but maybe later. Verendor. Hello there, what can I do for you? We're looking for work. There is a matter that I could use some help with, but I must warn you it requires a high level of discretion and quite a bit of more of immortal fortitude. Go on. You may have noticed that Hushire is something of a homeless problem. These filthy, wretched homeless creatures roam the streets banging, stealing and harassing good law-abiding folks like you and me. And, as you can probably guess, these sorts of homeless antics are bad for business. Long story short, the shopkeepers of Hushire pooled together their money and hired me to eliminate their problem. Only I too have a problem. And what's your problem besides being a homicidal maniac with a big axe? My problem is the Imperial Guard that was recently stationed here in the wake of the Shadowbrook incident. I am a lone wolf and prefer to eliminate targets one by one in a discreet manner. Unfortunately, these homeless roam about all day long in full view of everyone before returning at dusk to the homeless shelter down the road. I can't go after them at night in their shelter because there are four of them and one of me. If you can manage to eliminate all four hobos, I'll give you 300 gold, half of my reward. Oh god, no thanks. I'm afraid you have it backwards. These hobos are monsters. They steal back and harass law-abiding citizens day in and day out. They rob the good citizens of Harshire from the chance of making an honest living. Goodbye. I'm really not going to kill hobos. I mean, Arngar probably was one <laughs> before they locked him up. Uh, Avina. Hello there, travelers. Heard any rumors? Many of my patrons report seeing undead wandering about just south of the city. Okay, we'd like to barter. You don't have arrows! I hate you! Mm. Oh well. Oh well. Let's not just, you know, freak out quite yet. Um. Oh right, we can't rest here though. We need a an inn for that, I would wager. Hobo shelter. Hey Todd. Can you spare some coin? Sure. Can we, uh... Tell me about yourself. Ah, I worked the mines like everyone else from around here until they shut down. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm but a lowly beggar. What's there to know? Uh, not much to tell, I'm afraid. For 20 years I worked down the crystal mines. Eventually the mines became inhabited by all kinds of unspeakable things. And were shut down. Now I beg and from time to time steal. Let me guess. There is a way to open up the mines again. And it might involve four plucky adventurers clearing them out. Hopefully. Would be cool if we could do that. Administrator, right, yes. 
An administrator. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay, this town seems fairly small. What the hell was that? Oh, just a bunch of butterflies, I guess. Uh, sorry about that. Hmm. Okay, then. I guess I'll wait for morning. Uh, unless there's something else to discover. Not really. Kind of want to get a feel for how... Um, how the level range of this area is. We are level 7, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, what time is it now? How can I actually tell what time it is? Uh... Oh, we're actually not that far off from where we want to go. So this is probably all right. Ah, uh, okay, so this is how I tell what time it is. We'll sleep an hour. And hopefully we'll be able to partake of the arms and armor merchant. Howdy there. You want shop? Yes, shop. 256. That should do nicely for a start. All right. Let's take them all. Okay. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm kind of curious... Mm, if I want to... find a better... close combat weapon. Ah, like that, for instance. Hmm... Ooh, also not bad. Ha. Huh. Nice. Hmm. I am seriously a bit concerned about the lack of... Oh, plus 10 lockpicking. Oh, wow. Um... I am genuinely a bit concerned about the lack of possibility to replenish arrows. And I'm not sure how to handle it. Um, maybe by getting a better close combat weapon for our thief. And then... Um, Checking whether the thief can actually do a bit of, you know, melee combat and investing some points in that. I don't think the game will take too kindly to us going hybrid, but I don't know. Welcome to Drazana's Oddities. Care to have a look at my wares? Can you identify my items? I can. All right, pay 39 gold. There you go. Thanks, bye. What do we have? Where did we put it? An alchemist's helm, plus three alchemy. Hmm. Something for you, maybe. Eh, not really. Uh, um, yeah, this doesn't really fit. I guess we can always wear that uh, once we want to brew some potions. Might be inclined to sell it, actually. Not that great. Ah, uh, you have spell books. What white magic? Spell shield. Ah, haste, invisibility, oh that's grey magic, okay, silence is grey magic, major heal, now that's nice, oh wow, archer's blessing, not bad, and resurrect, bring him to life during battle, okay, major heal, maybe a little early considering that we still sort of replenish almost all the health in uh, in one go when we heal up but who knows Lord Triden welcome to Harshire Mining Company what can I do for you got any work for us yes yes there is indeed something that I could use a hand in Hearth hello mine to the east of here had to be closed due to a beast infestation though it was towards the end of its lifespan I'm nearly certain that there remained at least one blue crystal if I am correct, and I believe I am, this crystal possesses fantastic properties. 
When used, it instantly bestows the user some permanent magical effect. The tradesmen of this town will no doubt pay me top dollar for such a rare find, so I ask of you to retrieve it for me. I assure you that you will be more than fairly compensated. Don't worry, we'll find the crystal. Good, find me here when you retrieve the crystal. Alright, bye then. Okay, so we have a mission in the mines, but apparently not to reactivate them quite yet. Let's see what the administrator has, whether there is something we can do for them as well. Um, hello. Greetings, what is your business here? Mm, tell us about Hotshire. Hotshire used to be a prosperous little mining town. Nearly all of our citizens had good paying jobs in the mines. Then Hotshire Mining Company closed its mines, plunging half of our citizens into destitution. Hotshire serves as a hub between the northern and southern provinces. Because of this, what's left of our economy has largely grown dependent on being a stopover destination for merchants and travelers. Alright, one more thing. What do you do here? You don't want to know. It's boring beyond any non-administrator can imagine. Alright, okay. Uh, no really would like to hear about it. Do we? Oh wait, why not? Administrators are little more than glorified servants of the council. I'm charged with such things as grain counts, that is counting Hearthshire's grain supply and making sure that it falls within the range mandated by the council. Oh, and then there's attending to our ever-burgeoning homeless population. I asked the council's permission to eradicate our homeless population because they've been hurting our property value, not to mention dirtying up our streets. That was a huge mistake on my part. Why? What happened? Instead of allowing me to simply get rid of the problem, the council charged me with maintaining their hygiene. In other words, I was tasked with sponge bathing Harshire's homely po homeless population myself. I am willing to degrade myself in hopes of one day winning a seat on the council. In Antharion, the road to power is paved with defilement. Thanks, bye. <laughs> okay, wow. Um, still no reason to engage someone to murder them, I find. Now, where are the mines? Are they close by? Did we miss them already? Hmm. I'm curious. Let's see if we can find them. And make a start of exploring them. Uh, okay, they're not this way apparently. Dang, I am stuck. <coughs> Hello. Oh, you are one of the homeless. Uh, we have already spoken. Anything in here that's of interest? Not really. A damaged shortbow. Fantastic. You're over encumbered. Ugh. Uh. Okay then. Now, where are the mines? Do we get into them from in the town, or do we have to go across somewhere? Seems like it's not in the town. What was that again? The hobo shelter, okay. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can find these mines. Anywhere here, maybe? This is back to the farm, I think. Yeah. Are they on the map? Uh, they are. Okay, so they're more to the northeast. Hmm. Never really anticipate that this game actually has a map that uh, shows you uh, where quest objectives are, so I kind of tend to forget checking it. Oh, this way maybe? Uh, okay, an owl beast. Uh, no. Actually, not this way. I think it's probably better if we stick to the road. On the other hand, we also have the chance to mess with an owl beast, so let's see how that'll go for us. Uh... Ooh, this is going to be a little much, I think. I have a feeling Iron Gear is going to get the beating of a lifetime. Hey. I'm proud of you, buddy. Well done. And we are hitting like nobody's business, but let's see what the what the echo is gonna be. Yikes! Okay. 
We win. But at what cost? Oh, that's nuts. What we get an Albies pelt. It's something. Hmm. Might be a bit of a war of attrition though. What the hell is this? Oh god. Random dungeon time, I feel. Let's have a look down there, shall we? If the Albies is any indication, this could be over very, very quickly. On the other hand, we tend to find nice stuff in these places, so... Oh god, what the hell are you guys? Ugh. Undead Necromancers. And Widow Spider. Yeah, this doesn't look so good, does it? Oh god. The confusion is real and now we're poisoned. Yeah, that's what I was trying to... I was trying to spread out a little, but I couldn't. The damage is also quite real. Uh, Alright. Let's just get out of line of sight for a second. Okay, you don't seem to know what you're doing. That's okay. We are no longer webbed. That's also nice. Let's go and do a bit of kiting. Let's kill one necromancer. And it's too early to heal, I think. Okay, fair enough. Mm. Wait, oh, it's you. Okay, you can act, but you're webbed. Okay. Ah, uh, you are confused. Now that's annoying. Um, let's heal you back up. Oh, confusing my healer. Now that is not very nice of you. Uh, crap. Gonna lose one. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, actually, oddly enough. Oh, come on. Oh, now you can. Yeah, well. Just hanging in there. Alright. Nice crit. Okay, we can act once more and we can save her. Very nice. Stop confusing people. You're making this longer than it has to be. Oh, come on. How do you miss that? Uh, heal yourself. Yeah, this is, these are... I think stronger than we have any right to fight at the moment. But let's see what the reward is gonna be. Alright, let's go out of line of sight again. Hit him in the face. Shoot. Oh, please. <laughs> this is sort of uh, just a crowd control machine here with nothing much else. Okay. I guess they try to poison and CC you and then hope for the best, but hmm. oh well. Uh, let's invest two food in some mana and health. Interesting fight. Wonder what it's like if they're in a bigger group, though. Lots of garbage. Are these the undead that were reported to have been seen, maybe? I wonder if that ties in with any quest, then. Hmm. Right. This is, again, rather... a uh, large cellar. Spiders, okay... Hmm, maybe this way? Uh, yes, no, maybe. Uh, a door. Okay. What's in here now? Wine and a very, very modest amount of gold. 
Okay, that's a little better. Some fish. Even though there is no such thing as fish. Uh, hang on. There you go. Mm. This is a big seller, considering what I would normally expect under a house. This is definitely not it. Um... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Ah! Fail. I stepped on the wrong uh, tile. But it doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay, now you can hang out here. And we'll go wait for them here. What I kind of want to prevent is them having too many shots at the party while we go and try to get close to them. But that apparently doesn't really work because their, they, their AI gets horrendously confused. So I guess we'll do it this way then. And see if they come... Now that Arngir is loitering there. Uh, one of them seems to. Okay, that's good enough for me. Howdy! We have come to kill you. How do you feel about this? Not good? No? Oh, uh, that was uncalled for. Oh, come on. At least it heals him back up. Okay, thanks, bye. That was one. <laughs> the other one is uh, again uh, locked in a state of confusion. Hmm. Hello there. For the moment, we are flush with arrows and we would like to share in our wealth which overfloweth. There we go. Ooh, you fail. How do you like that? You like that? No? Okay. Doesn't matter. Um, what the hell am I doing? Okay. Uh, lizard's tail. Some food, some gold. Some random rubbish. Wish we could loot the potions there, but apparently we can't. All right. Hmm, makes you wonder what the uber boss in this dungeon is. Probably the master wizard. The other ones were... So far not hugely problematic, but also not the easiest enemies we've ever fought. So how are we doing for this? We are getting there. Hmm, half a level to go, I guess. Hmm... Any hidden walls, secret walls, hidden doors. Wow, so many side... Uh, so many side corridors. Uh, ah. Kind of want to spread out a little bit. Okay. You're immobilized. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Oh well. You do that. Eh. Waste of an arrow. Must equip arrows? What? Don't scare me like that. Alright. There we go. The glory of killing you is mine. There we go. Um. What were you protecting? Wow, this place is, place is huge. This place is huge. What's going on here? This is like... Dungeon Central. Oh, another sleeping chamber. With random loot. An Outlander armor. Under the sun and sky, Outlander, I greet you warmly. What's an Outlander armor? And why should I care? It looks pretty nice. 
Uh, how does it look on you? It makes you look hilarious. I approve. You keep that. I, I know it's stat-wise it's a downgrade, but looks-wise it's an upgrade and a half in sheer uh, country bumpkin hilarity. <laughs> I don't even know what that look is saying. You know? I used to be hip, I used to be with it. But then they changed what it was. Okay, I think we found something more nasty. Poison spider, undead mage. Well, false. Okay, let's see if we can remove the mage from the equation. No, we should probably not hang out too close together. Crap. Hmm. This could go badly for my thief here. We'll see, I guess. Alright, that's not too terrible. That, on the other hand, isn't too great either. <laughs> okay, you do that. We'll shoot the mage and miss. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Uh, oh god. Mm. Phew. That was surprisingly uh, not the death of a thief. Right, let's see if this works now. Thank you. Blocked. I approve. This spider keeps on failing. It mage keeps on healing. That's fine. At least the mage is not going to do much in the way of damage if the mage keeps on healing. Let's stand around the corner again so we can't be hit. Uh, webbing the ranged character isn't that big of a deal, but uh, polymorphing them is annoying, of course. Hmm. Hmm. That spider is kind of weird. Okay, we... Duh! Damn it. Okay, that works. How do you hit with your hit... How do you miss with your hit chance? That That's absurd. Ah, uh, so irritating. All this polymorphing. And webbing. Hmm. I have to do this now. Alright, that works. Not sure what that was about, but... Yeah, no. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Wasn't that big of a deal. Not sure if this was uh, something resembling the final boss. They usually have these magic circles around them, but... I somehow don't think that was quite it. Alright, we win. Any loot? Just cut the head off. Oh, you're encumbered. Alright, alright, alright. We'll shift some stuff around. Okay, we have human flesh, a human ear and a serious cap. And arrows! Lovely arrows. Very good. Hmm. Well, that's the head again. So we should make a mod that replaces the skin texture with kappa. There we go. Oh, come on. Why are you encumbered it all the time? What is your problem? I think it's the owl beast height. Maybe. Alright. Uh, this place is bigger than I thought, so I'm going to leave it here. We'll continue to explore next time. I thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you then, and bye for now.